Welcome back to the Airsoft Boneyard and FPS channel. Today we're going to continue the TAC-41 optimization project, this time looking at the Raypax Hulk Spring on a stock TAC-41 and with the advanced piston head from Silverback. We'll be adding this data to our previously collected data. Quick reminder, we're going to measure FPS, energy, standard deviation, and sound. The first three are measured with the chronograph shown in the picture. Sound is measured with the sound meter that's sitting on top of the chronograph. That'll be placed right underneath the chamber of the replica when we're testing for sound. We're going to take 10 shots. We're going to record the FPS for each shot and the max sound of those 10 shots. So the Hulk spring is the strongest spring from Raypax. It should compete with the Silverback 150 Newton spring. And this testing is showing that it does. The blue bar that we've added on is the Raypax Hulk. Yellow bar is the Silverback 150. Gray is the Raypax 2.8. And the stock Silverback 75 Newton is in orange. The blue bar is new. The other three are the same data we've shown earlier. Just added on so that we can see how the Hulk compares. Looking at the 0.45 gram BBs, in a fully stock configuration, the Hulk puts out a massive amount of FPS at 432 with 0.45 gram BBs. That is a ton of energy. When we add on the air brake, it becomes more on par with the 150 Newton Silverback, basically gives us the exact same result. The benefit of the Raypack spring, though, is it's easier to pull back, so you're going to get the same output as that 150 Newton Silverback. The downside of the Raypack springs is at least here in the United States, it is kind of hard to get them. You got to order them from overseas and it takes a little while to get here. But really good springs, do highly recommend them, which is why I've tested so many so far. You want to use a long air brake with a weaker spring and a short air brake with a stronger spring. So let's compare the 75 Newton stock spring and the 2.8 Joule Raypacks, two of the weaker springs in our testing in their stock configuration, and when we have a long and a short air brake on. With a long air brake, you can see we're only dropping 13 feet per second with the stock spring, and we're dropping 50 with the 2.8 joule, which is actually quite a bit, whereas we don't really drop any with the short. 2.8 joule might not be the weakest spring to use, but you can see with the long air brake, not really losing much FPS, not really losing much more than we would with the short air brake, but we're going to cut down more volume. Whereas if we compare the stock Hulk spring to where it went with the long air brake, we're going to lose about 150 feet per second, which is quite a bit. And if we look at the lighter BBs, we lose even more. The long spring is going to cost, or the long air brake is going to cost us about 170 FPS. Whereas with the stock spring, we're only losing 20. And with the Raypax 2.8, we're losing about 60, which is still a decent bit. So the 2.8 joule might be a little bit too strong, and it might need the shorter air brake or a medium air brake. Looking at the standard deviations, mainly at the 0.45s, because that's what I'm going to play with. Very good results out of the Raypax Hulk stock, right on that, right near that one FPS target we're after. Unfortunately, it didn't really like the short air brake from a deviation perspective. We had about three standard deviation. Still better than the 150 Newton Silverback, but not quite as low as we'd like it to be. Did do a little bit better with the long air brake, but we are losing quite a bit of FPS and energy if we use that long air brake. Looking at the energy, as previously mentioned, stock configuration way up at 3.7 joules. It's too high for my field probably for most fields even if you tried to jewel creep it probably going to chrono too high yeah we chrono at 570 which is over the 550 limit with 0.2 grams so the raypax hulk is without cutting a coil off the spring is too strong for most fields but where i like it is if you're trying to get to that 2.8 jewel limit have the weakest spring pull you can and keep your budget somewhat low you can get a Raypax Hulk spring, Silverback Advanced Piston Head with a short air brake, and you'll end up right near 2.8 joules. You'll have no problem chronoing in. you less than 2.8 joules on the 0.2 gram BBs. You're going to joule creep your way up to 2.8, and that's completely fine. Benefit here, Raypax spring, 20 to 30 bucks, depending on shipping cost for the U.S. Advanced Piston Head, 30 to 50 bucks, depending on where you order it from.
So you could for about 80 bucks plus your TAC 41, upgrade it to be 2.8 joules with a slight sound reduction using advanced piston head short air brake. Long air brake is really dropping your energy too much, at least for the fields that I play at, would not be very competitive. competitive. This is about the same as what an AEG can shoot. And now looking at sound. If you're using the Raypax Hulk short air brake, not gonna be that quiet. 97 decibels, it's not the worst. You can see we've got 103 over here with the Hulk with the stock 0.2 gram BB. Hop up for all of this testing was at five, so right in the middle. You could run the hop up, probably would need to run the hop up a little bit higher on a 0.45 gram BB. I usually run around seven. That'll lower this slightly, but you're still not gonna cut that much sound. It's a strong spring. However, one of the things I kind of noticed here that I like, this 2.8 joule ray packs with the short air brake, 95 decibels, decently quiet. If you're not constantly shooting, you'll probably be pretty well concealed. Uh, and keep in mind, this is without any other mods, without the Scorpion piston, no stalker cracking, no suppressor on the end. So you could quiet this down more if you wanted to. But if you don't want to get all the way up to that 2.8 joules, you could run the 2.8 joule ray packs, which is very easy to pull back. Get 2.5 joules with the short air brake. Actually have a pretty quiet replica, which is pretty, pretty, pretty impressive. Next, we'll listen to a couple sound clips. There's the shot. It's 288.6 feet per second, 93.6 decibels. Once again, 93.6, 288 on FPS, 287 on FPS, 93.2 decibels. That was 103.6 decibels. Do it again. And 103.5. And the next video is going to go back to the Scorpion piston. This time we're going to look at the 2.8 joule Raypack spring. We'll follow that up with the Silverback 150 and the Raypack's Hulk.